hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you how i created these floating shelves without any hardware this is a length of 2 by 6 that i'll be using so i'm just gonna cut off three pieces of 18 inches These smaller pieces of wood are 2 inches wide by 18 inches long so they are the back part of the shelves. A portion of the dowel will be inserted into them and they will act as a bracket for the shelves. Now I'm marking three locations for the dowel. I'm marking the middle and then I'm marking three inches from outside of both sides. Next, I'm marking the center point of each line. Now I'm using a half inch bit to drill the holes. I'll be drilling these holes three and a half inches deep. You can put some tape around the bit to be used as a guide for the depth of drilling the holes. Now that I've finished drilling these nine holes for the front part, I'm now going to drill nine holes for the back portion. I added another piece of tape about inch and a half measurement around the bit to be used as a guide for the depth of drilling the holes for the back portion of the wood. I'm using this black and decker workbench to clamp the wood and keep it in place. Guys, I must say that these workbenches are great. This is a portable bench with durable steel frame and it holds up to 350 pounds. So guys, if you'd like to purchase one of these workbench, you can click my Amazon associate link in the description down below. As you can see, I'm finished drilling the holes and they are matching. Now I'm going to cut the dowels to be inserted in the holes. So remember guys, for the front portion of the board, I drilled the hole three and a half inches deep. And for the back portion, I drilled one and a half inches deep. So now I'm just gonna cut nine pieces of five inches dowel. So the dowels will be made from this piece of old 5.8 steel so I'm using my axa blade to cut them. So these are the dowels. I have cut them and sanded them down. I'm going to insert them in the two inch piece of board so I'm just marking off where how far I'm gonna insert them I'm gonna use the hammer to tap them in and I don't want them to go further than inch and a half I'm using some epoxy to set them to set the dowels in place guys this is optional but because this is a two inch piece of board and it's extremely thick it's heavy I don't want the 
dowels to be bent over time i want this the shelves to be extremely sturdy so i have decided to use some epoxy so you don't have to use epoxy or any form of glue if you don't want you can just tap them in you know with the hammer and leave them like that also you do not have to use steel dowels you can use wooden acrylic or any other form of dowels So now I'm inserting the back portion into the front portion and I realize that some of the holes are a bit tight so I'm just using the drill to make some more pass through the holes not too much because I want the dowels to be inserted tightly in the holes. This portion of the shelf will be screwed to the wall, so I'm drilling the holes for the screw. I'm going to countersink the screws, so I'm making the holes at the top a bit wider. Now that all three shelves are completed, I'm preparing them for the varnish. After sanding with an 80 grade sandpaper, I'm now using a sanding sealer to assist me with the rest of the sanding. The sanding sealer helps to seal the wood pores and give the wood a smoother finish. Please note that the sanding sealer must be sanded down, so I use the 120 sandpaper over the sealer. After applying the sanding sealer, I finished off the shelf with a coat of clear lacquer. After marking off the location for the shelves on the wall, I'm now drilling the holes. I'm now screwing the back portion of the shelf on the wall, after which I'll just insert the front portion I'm using this piece of wood to help me space the shelves properly After each insert, I use the handle of the hammer to tap them in tightly. So guys, this is how the shelves turned out. They make the area look open, thus creating the illusion of greater space and they create a more airy atmosphere. As you can see, these are bracketless shelves and they further give a neat and cleaner look to the space. We have come to the end of the video if you like the video remember to leave a thumbs up and bye guys i'll see you in the next one